Welcome to Y Lab. We're not into reviewing radios, but we bought this Baofeng DMX because it looked like a cheap way to learn about digital radio modes and DMR. Uh, we've been pretty happy with other cheap Baofeng radios like the UV6B. Uh, it's been fantastic. So we ordered this uh, DMX directly from China. And, uh, well, it's a pretty sad radio. It could be improved, uh, but we're really putting up this video because we learned a lot about it. We learned about configuring it. We learned about setting it up. And if you have the misfortune of having bought one of these radios, we've got a whole pile of links and information that will help you make it usable. If you didn't buy this radio, don't buy it. If you bought it and you can return it, return it. Uh, so let's get into it. So this is what the Baofeng DMX, also known as the DM1702B, looks like. Uh, it's also sold with slightly different case, uh, different button layings, but it's all DM1702 on the Baofeng website. Uh, you've got the slots here on the side uh, where you can get a Baofeng programming cable that plugs into the audio ports there. Uh, you can also just use a standard micro USB cable for configuring it. That works great. Now, uh, problem is, there's a few issues with this radio, and uh, Baofeng doesn't tell you how to get it programmed or anything like that in the manual. In fact, they ship the wrong manual with it. Uh, so what we've done is we've put a bunch of links together. We've uh, put down everything we learned on a web page to show you how to use the radio. And the first thing you're going to have to do, it's absolutely critical, is get the software to uh, configure it and program it and get firmware to download to the radio to make sure you have the most up-to-date version. Uh, now, we're not going to go through all that in this video uh, because it's kind of boring to listen to people do that sometimes. So we set up a web page. We'll give you the link for it where we tell you how to do all this stuff, and we're also linking to videos other people have done if you want to see videos going through all the tedious steps. But on the web page, we tend to summarize everything, give you the links, and uh, also give you some tips on pounding on Baofeng to, uh, to fix this radio. Uh, the software updates have improved it dramatically, and uh, we think that... Um, one more software update would actually make it uh, pretty good. Um, now, it does have a couple of quirks, uh, like this interference problem we found. Uh, I've got a uh, paper shredder here, and uh, when I hit the transmit button the first time, it turned on. Uh, let's show you what that looks like. And by the way, that paper shredder doesn't have... A remote control built in. To make the radio usable, it's absolutely critical that you get the programming software for it. Uh, so we give you the links on the web page to get that. Now, uh, I've got it on the screen here. When it comes up, it may look like this with characters that are. Uh, well, if you had a Chinese version of Windows, it would display proper Chinese characters. This button here gets you to the English menu. Now, I've got a radio hooked up with the USB cable. Uh, you can use a standard micro USB. Uh, you don't need a special cable for it. Uh, press this button. That's the first step. And that will read the data from the radio. Now, the software will sit here looking dumb as a post until you hit the OK button, and then it starts reading data from the radio. Now, just go over a little bit of what happens when you get this software. Uh, depending on the versions you get, uh, it may have some additional menus for uh, some hidden features. Uh, that's where you can get into detailed programming on the radio. None of that's documented. Uh, it's not recommended that you play with those settings. It's also got a lot of features where you can correct some of the major deficiencies of the radio. 
Uh, you can program the side buttons to be actually meaningful. Uh, and you can set it up for VFO. Uh, VFO mode is something people cry about on the web that they can't get. So uh, looking at the radio, you get all the info. It'll always be DM1702, even though you get a DMX or DM1702B. Uh, we've got channel configurations. Uh, the channel configurations, you can put in all your presets, your... Uh, um, your duplex channels for repeaters. Uh, you can set up your CTCSS. You've got the menu here, which comes up. Uh, then you go to more, you can get all your codes. You can set stuff up uh, as analog or digital channels for DMR. Uh, on DMR, you can assign the slots and so on. Uh, but here's a big gotcha. When you set up the radios and uh, the channels, uh, you have to make sure that they're in a, a group list and you have to make sure that your channels after you set them up are in your zones. Uh, the radio will always be on zone one or zone two and if your channels do not appear in the zones they will not appear in the presets. So that's absolutely critical otherwise you'll be looking and saying you know you're adding channel 10, uh, 20, 21, 22 and they don't appear because you haven't slotted them into a zone. Okay. The parameter menu, uh, very critical. This is where you can set things like uh, VFO to work properly. You can set your backlight uh, frequency channel mode. If you want to be able to switch between presets and uh, VFO to enter channels manually, uh, you need to have this set on frequency. Now, the problem is if you create these nice names for your channels, like here, uh, you know, where I put an alias in there, they will not appear when it's in frequency mode for using VFO. So on the web page, we tell you in detail how to do this switch. Uh, we also tell you how to kind of work around it if you want your nice channel names. Um, so setting up the software after you're done, uh, you've got to hit the right button here to get stuff back out to the radio. Anyway, we're not going to linger on this because it's covered in the web page and you don't need to hear my voice uh, any more than this. Uh, except for one more thing, uh, programming the radio. Uh, if you want to do that, um, it's here under tool. So that's for, pro by programming in this case, we mean uh, updating the firmware. So when you hit tool here, uh, you can put in the source of your firmware software here, uh, hit upgrade, or actually before you hit upgrade, you take the radio, turn it off, hold down the pound key, and then turn it back on while you're holding down the pound key, and that will put the radio into program mode. And the upgrades we point you to, they've worked great on the radio. Uh, and they've cleaned up uh, some of the defects. Now, Baofeng does have an official web page. There are a lot of sites that uh, purport to be Baofeng dealers or official Baofeng sites. This is the corporate website, www.baofengradio.com. Um, so uh, from the product list going to digital, uh, we've got exactly our radio here, the DMX listed as the DM1702B. And if we click on it and go to the bottom of the page, uh, all it has for download is the user manual. Uh, if we go back to the home page, there is a contact us. And they actually did respond, but the response wasn't great. Uh, we said, where is the manual? Where is the firmware for this stuff? So they told us for this 1702B to go to the download, the 1702. When we go to the 1702, uh, now it's got the software download. So that's the programming software. Unfortunately, it's the Chinese version. So we showed you once you're in the program how to switch it to English, 
but to get it installed, all the buttons for OK and Cancel are in Chinese. Uh, if you fiddle with it, uh, you'll get through it like we did. Uh, but uh, we, we do recommend you use this one. Don't go to another site because other sites, there have been viruses in the software, and this is the latest. Now, what they have not put on this page, and we've bugged them about, is also providing the firmware. Um, again, we found the firmware on other sites. Uh, we've got the links to it. You can pull it down. But yeah, go to the contact page. Help us pound on them uh, to get that firmware updated on these pages so it's more accessible to everyone. So again, we don't want to drag this out. We've got all the links, all the info we've talked about is on ylab.ca slash dmx. We have links there to other YouTube videos that people have put up where we've got information where they will go into great detail, step by step, how to program the radio, uh, how to program all the DMR zones and channels. We don't need to repeat that. We don't need the attention. Uh, but we think if you go to this page, it's a great guide for getting through everything you need to do for getting the VFO set up and, uh, you know, getting past a lot of the stuff people are crying about on this radio. Uh, so, again, if you like this, drop a comment on, uh, on the page. Uh, occasionally we go through and review them and post them. Uh, I've got to do that to avoid the spam. Uh, we've also put a couple of links there uh, so you can just click directly, uh, get to this page. And thank you for listening. And if you've got the DMX, good luck.